Hey everyone, it's SoundWave 84 here, the Transformers Blast from the past review. And this is where you take a look at Titans Returns, Voyager Class, Broadside with Blunderbuss. And he is, of course, one of the Headmasters, what they call Titan Masters at the time. And he has a Headmaster. Now, the original G1 Broadside was not a Headmaster, of course, but he was a Triple Changer, which this figure here actually is as well. We're starting off here in his jet mode, and then we're going to go to his uh, aircraft carrier mode, and then to uh, the robot mode. And you can see it right off the bat that the jet mode is going to be the lamest or the, or the worst mode we're going to get out of this figure. As well, it doesn't really fold up. It's more as he just kind of crotches down and lays on his back and flips his up. His legs are just here. But at least he's got a cockpit for a blunderbuss. So it's not a bad. Some things don't really tab in. They just sit. But the legs do actually lock into the crotch roller right there. And there are fan modes you can do. You can take his legs and like just, just lay them straight out. But then they're not going to tab in at all. And that way, at least he's a more streamlined jet, not this big, you know, block in back here. But that does catch, and when you do fold the knees down, it does lock into place as well on the knees. So they, those don't really go anywhere, just the arms here are kind of free moving along, and that's what the wings are attached to. So we're going to take a look at this figure. I've already pretty much done the jet mode here. It is not bad looking on oh, the front part here, and then the paint, and everything. The colors are really nice. You know, the gray, the red, the blue. I always love the transparent, uh, the translucent blue colors. It was really good, but you got to be aware of the plastic because it becomes more, a little more brittle. Of course, this is when they're throwing stickers on everything, so you... This is applied in factory, and this is how you get it. And you get some of the wrinkles, crinkles, and you know, just it's not always applied better. But, but I don't always apply them well, well myself. But here, you know, stickers can catch and start peeling and tearing and everything. I, I prefer not to have stickers, but I do like the old G1, you know, feel and nostalgia of having stickers. So that is kind of cool that at least they did attempt something to throw back some nostalgia with broadside and some of the figures in the Titans Returns. I think they didn't power the Primes as well. I know they did it for a little while, but it's mostly like Borger class and up, not like deluxe class and stuff. So we'll just turn the jet mode all the way around. The back end doesn't look too bad for the jet, but it's just that he's so big and bulky back there. Just look at it as a handle for the jet. Now the wings are on hinges so you can move them around. If you don't want these to be flat, you can angle them to the sides. That gets it there. There are no landing gears on this guy. That's another kind of bummer, but hey, yeah, he's, he's doing three, mo three modes here, so I guess they did what they could. Cockpit opens up here in the back part. There's a little catch here. Open it up, and you can see your little Titan Master inside. So the biggest problem with his jet mode, besides the back ass end back here, is this, his triple changer has always been, well, confusing. He's a jet that transforms into a an aircraft carrier that the jet can land on so sizing here is an issue with the figure you want him to be a really huge transformer that you know can have other transformers on top of or do you want him to be smaller to where he can be a plane and with the other transformers the cartoon kind of put this off with having him be close to a combiner height he actually fought around with devastator then he fought i think it was devastator and predator king in one episode briefly and they always had him being just a little bit taller in the background so that is how they got around with it in the cartoon. Uh, but in toy mode, this does present a problem. So we'll do some quick comparisons here. This is your Tides Returns broadside. We'll bring in the G1 broadside. If everything is not correct, I do have problems with his arms. I can't yank them all the way out and everything because it just gives me resistance and I'm not going to break anything. But that is your comparisons here with the G1s. You can see where they got the colors and pretty much matches the grays. They're pretty close. The red, the blue, the translucent blue, not I like that. And you even got the stickers and stuff. It is close to trying to match, you know, your original uh, G1 here. And he's got the gray, you know, wings here and the red ones here on the side that go flat. At least this one here does have some metal uh, wheels so he can roll. Another size comparison here is next to Voyager Class uh, Earthrise Starscream. Just show that off there. So that is your other comparison with Starscream. Of course, Starscream makes a better jet, but he always achieved the two modes, bot mode and jet mode, whereas Broadside had to go for three. Plus, they made him a headmaster. 
and getting broadside into the aircraft carry mode from the jet mode is not very hard just straighten them up got to fold them over just a few twists and turns don't forget to remove blunderbuss from the cockpit so you can put them on top of the aircraft carrier mode here he is in aircraft carrier mode i mean it's a lovely mode i actually probably like this alt mode the best or the jet mode of course you get some more of the stickers here and here and the runway here autobot logo there and then we got i think a little bit on this guy where's that yeah it's right here on the side here you get the antenna it's got some detail here for this part and these do close and this also opens up to where you can put your uh dude in here to stand in there which i don't see the point of that but he does have little peg holes and there are little pegs all around here where you take any titan master so they can ride on broadside and you can stand them up on here so you can now ride along also he does come with this weapon here which does have these pegs peg 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 and you can peg into holes especially one here there's one back here so we'll just stick it in here he also can sit in here and ride inside the gun which the titan turns did that a lot with their uh offerings and for playability since you cannot realistically we'll just take a the g1 broadside and you can see you know jets really you can't have it scale correctly and then you have star screen with some scale here he is it's humongous that's where the the weird factor of having him be these three things uh, or these two at least the jet and aircraft carrier kind of come into play and the comparison between G1 broadside and Titan Turn broadside in aircraft carrier mode. You can see the Titan Turns has a lot more detail for the aircraft carrier mode in the tower, whereas this one is just pretty much like a Lego brick stuck on top. Not as much detail going on. And that's some little paintwork there. Now he's got 86. Came out in 86, but could that be 98? No. 86, this one says 36. So that is your comparisons there in aircraft carrier. For playability, they did give you these little bitty uh, versions of the Combiner Wars Aerobots. It is molded in, I don't know what color plastic, probably the gray he is. It could be the translucent blue, I'm not sure, because I haven't scratched and I haven't actually looked it up. But they did paint this white. And it's like, you know, so it's got all of the uh, Aerobots here from Silver Bolt on down. And you can take them off. They have little peg holes here to where you can then... Those pegs I showed you, they can peg on in different places as well on top of the aircraft carrier mode. I just never did that because I just didn't see the point of this right here. I'm just pretty much going to leave it in robot mode most of the time. Anyways, uh, I figure I'll just lose these little ships somewhere. And if you are wondering, yes, you can wedge some blast effects on the tip of his weapon. And with a few more twists and turns and folds, we'll get broadside into his robot mode. Just fold a few things down, pop blunderbuss on for the head, and bam, there you go. Alright, here's Broadside in his robot mode. It's the best mode of this figure here. Uh, I do like the aircraft carrier mode. It's very simplistic, and that's not really hard to attain. You can see as the jet mode was the harder mode to nail. Uh, this robot mode, though, looks really good. He's got the beef you're going to want out of a Broadside. He's big, like he could kick some serious ass. He just needs to be bigger. Uh, he does have these little pieces here, which puts a lock on the underside, and he pushed this right here. I don't, really don't know the point of all this, but if you want a different look for your figure. Add the Titan Turns, Astro Train, all that had them as well. But that way you can have just the single head, or you can have the things on the side. You get a little more head movement without them. It's on this little piece here, so this is going to be your movement. You get these pieces up. It prevents... This is how far you're going to get otherwise with this piece. Uh, articulation here on the arms, you get the full 360. Shoulders come out to the sides here. You get your bicep uh, swivels here, elbow bends there. No wrist swivels, it's one fold out piece. You get hips to there. It's going to hit the back back here. You're going to get a full split though. You get high hip uh, swivels. Knees bend to there. Get right there. Uh, no, there's no ankle tilts, but you do get front and back a little bit, mostly this way. And that is for transformation. There is no waist swivel, so he's fixated there. So that is your articulation 
on your broadside. Mine does have a really loose left hip. Uh, so when yeah, I'm trying to fiddle with him, he just constantly wants to do that and go to splits. The right one's loose as well, but it's not as loose as his left. The rest of the joints are pretty good and they're not overly tight, but not loose as well. His uh, leg kibble here is kind of, it gets in the way, these little uh, fins here wings are just in the way it's kind of you can move them around to try to get them you can turn these inside but then they're bumping together you can just have these fold flat on the front if you don't like them that way but then it makes it a little bit harder when you're doing the legs but it's just however you want your figure to look either way is fine it depends also your space where you're trying to display the figure now some uh comparisons for height we're going to bring in springer this is the amazon uh version where he's the wrecker this is based on the Siege. It's also a Voyager class. And we are supposedly getting a new Studio Series 86 Springer. But I think the Siege is a really good Springer. Just minus. You need to take off some of that battle damage. And we'll bring in Siege slash Earthrise Astro Train. So you can see that Broadside here is actually taller and bigger than these guys. Which in scale, I would want him to be. I would, you know, I want broadside based on his third alt mode being the aircraft carrier should be a pretty good and pretty decent sized transformer. Some more comparisons. Here's some deluxe figures, Jazz and Crankcase. And a comparison with this G1 itself. You can see they do keep some of the resemblances from G1 until now. He's got the head sculpts are pretty close. The red legs, feet, the silver upper body. It does have red on the sides here, but it does have molded in little things that resemble that area. And they got the color blue than the middle size though g1 is definition of a brick there's really no articulations for the feet that fold to transform you got the elbow joints here otherwise he's just a big piece of plastic you can heave at somebody all right for final thoughts on this figure i mean it's a nice broadside i want them to at least try to do a commander class broadside be about jet fire higher higher god jet fire height which in scale would scale with uh, the current combiner systems from Legacy for Minasaur, it would be about the right height. It needs to be slightly smaller. Uh, as the scale is now, it's all over the place. It just depends on what you want. And as an aircraft carrier, he would be big enough to fit, say, you know, your mini cons or maybe in some mini bots on it comfortably. Uh, if you wanted to hold bigger ones, you're going to have to make this do Titan class. And actually be about the height of Metroplex and Scorponok and flatten his ass out so you can land some Voyager class Transformers on him. But then I feel he'll be out of scale with all the other Transformers and be way too big. He'd be Omega Supreme's height. But then that third mode being the aircraft carrier would actually be cor more correct. I want to say be correct, maybe more to the proper size. But then his jet mode is going to be freaking huge, and his robot mode, even you know, he's going, to, he's just going to be way out of scale the other ways. He's going to be a really hard transformer to nail down where he can please everybody. Anyway, it's still a decent figure, overly negative on the loose joints. I was trying to pose him up for this last picture, and his hips and legs were going everywhere, and it was really pissing me off. <laughs> anyway, he's decent for what he is. He's beefy. He looks good. He's just not playable enough at the size he's at. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until the next one. Peace out.